Hey guys, so now we're going to talk about valence electrons and reactivity. So we learned that valence electrons are the electrons located in the outermost energy level or orbit of an atom. And valence electrons are special because they determine an element's reactivity. And reactivity means the tendency of an atom to bond with another atom through a chemical reaction. When atoms bond, they follow what we call the octet rule. And the octet rule means that two atoms can only bond if their combined valence electrons equal eight. So an example would be sodium and chlorine. Sodium has one valence electron and chlorine has seven valence electrons. So these two atoms could chemically react and bond because one plus seven is eight. And this is how sodium chloride is formed, which is what you know as table salt. Now keep in mind the maximum number of valence electrons an atom can have is eight, only eight, or none at all in the case of helium because helium has two electrons, therefore its first energy level is filled. So an important part of understanding valence electrons and reactivity within the elements is by knowing the groups on the periodic table. So we're only going to focus on groups 1 and 2 and groups 13 through 18. Group 1 is called the alkali metals and all of these atoms have one valence electron. And as you can see, I have labeled the valence electrons for the groups in blue. So group 1 is the alkali metals. They have one valence electron. This means that the elements in this group will react similarly. Group one is the most reactive because these elements only have one valence electron to give away. Group two is called the alkaline earth metals and all of the elements in this group have two valence electrons. Group 13 is called the boron family because boron is the first element in the group and all the elements in this group have three valence electrons. Group 14 is the carbon family, named after carbon, and the elements in this group have four valence electrons. Are you noticing a pattern? Group 15 is the nitrogen family, and elements in this group, you guessed it, have five valence electrons. Group 16 is the oxygen family, and these elements have six valence electrons. Group 17 is called the halogens, and all of these elements in this group have seven valence electrons. Group 18 is called the noble gases. And this is a special group because all of these elements have eight valence electrons in their outer energy level. So since they already have those eight valence electrons, they are already meeting the octet rule and they do not chemically react with the other atoms. They have no need to. So here we just have a list of the groups and all of the names. Again, group one has one valence electron, group two has two. Groups 13 through 16, they are named after the first element in the family and they have three, four, five, and six valence electrons respectively. Group 17 has seven valence electrons and group 18, the noble gases, have eight valence electrons. They do not chemically react with the other elements. So go ahead and take a moment to pause this, make sure you label your periodic table, label all of the group names that we just talked about, and label the valence electrons for all of the groups. And that's a wrap.